Ali, who will judge the Hulk? I will. This is Hulk Epic Collection, Volume 5. And it collects issues 138 to 156, as well as Avengers 88. Sometimes I struggle to have much discussion in these unboxing videos because I have not read the contents or I have very little awareness of what is going on. And with this one, which collects a bunch of early 70s Hulk stories. I really am going to be clutching at straws. I have read one issue in this collection. Well, two. I have read the Avengers issue as well. But that is about it. And I have very basic things about issue 142. But otherwise, I am seriously knackered. I am going to have now to say and little knowledge to slip in. I will say, this is a guess, but I would wager money that whatever issue this is the cover of doesn't feature them fighting all these baddies at all. And most, if not all of them, are fantasy or he is dreaming or something. We start with issue 138. Looks like he fights Sandman here. Hulk did seem to pilfer a lot of his early bad guys from other books. Oh shit, that is what I can talk about. Hulk having a disastrous rogues gallery. I would contend that for how well known Hulk is, how popular and long running Hulk is as a lead character, and a comic book series. His rogues gallery is pathetic. Let's be real. Hulk has three bad guys. Reader, Abomination Man and the UFO4s. They are the only ones that writers consistently come back to. He has had some other great bad guys like Moonstomp. She started as a Hulk baddie and probably could have been his best villain if she didn't quickly graduate to becoming an Avengers bad guy. That is another thing. A lot of bad guys that started in Hulk, like Moonstump or Captain Boomerang or most famously Wolfman, they quickly end up in other books. Zax is an okay Hulk bad guy with a terrible name. But he usually gets passed around a bit. And it's like only every third or fourth run someone includes him. David Peter had a few good new ones. My favourite being Speed Freak. I like the idea of giving Hulk a bad guy whose power is speed. That is an appropriate obstacle for Hulk. But Speed Freak never got any use outside of David Peter's stories. And then he was killed off 15 years ago. Paper quality is not great again. This is the issue from the cover, 139. And there is Reader. Speaking of Reader, I also liked Reader's brother, Madman. But before he was transformed into another Hulk monster thing, I liked him with a sack on his head and a mismatched costume. Hulk having a contortionist sort of bad guy is another good idea. Other Hulk baddies are usually all imports. Rhino Man, Crusher Man, M-O-D-O-K. Some of them work well as Hulk baddies, but like M-O-D-O-K is also just as much a Captain America baddie as a Hulk one. Yeah, this is a really shit paper again. Like that Fantastic Force epic. 
We will come back to bad guys after this because now we begin a two-part story that I have read. This issue, or this story rather, this issue was an area of contention for me. I read this story in an art trade called Ulk, Art of the Atom, which was a compilation of stories where Ulk went to the Michaelverse. I didn't have that trade anymore. I gave it a naughty Matt Oss for giving me a lift back home after a gig. I think at the stand. I think it was Red Raw at the stand. Who cares? My point is going to be that this Avengers issue actually isn't in that art trade. And it really bothered us because this is very much part one of this story. It introduces the villain and the setup that is necessary for the Hulk issue, which begins with Hulk transported to the Michaelverse. The Avengers issue is also kind of interesting as it shows the Avengers working with Falcon Man back when he wore a green costume and long before he became an official Avenger. Also, we are introduced to Cyclop, not to be confused with a fusion of two excellent men characters. And this is another one that I think makes for a decent Hulk antagonist. But he just stopped getting any use in Hulk's comics after the 70s. There is even a more personal connection in that he eventually gans on to kill one of Hulk's love interests. So the Michaelverse, the thing with this is it is another dimension they can send Hulk off to. And we get a day barbarian sword and saucer pots genre bit with Hulk. And we get to show Hulk be accepted in this different world and be at peace. And he falls in love and marries a queen there. The queen who Cyclop eventually kills. It is Hulk though, so these stories always have a depressing ending where he is snatched away from this world and returned to his miserable life. The story is of no, as it is one of a couple of Marvel stories that were done by famed sky fi author Arlen Ennis. It is written by Roger Thomas, but it is his idea. Hulk 142, this is the issue I said and asked something about. And this is another one where I am mainly going to say that it is not in another collection. They are doing a classic Defenders omnibus. And no, I am not getting it. I didn't really like the Defenders before issue 12. But I think that this issue here has been overlooked by everyone. This is kind of the first appearance of Velcro, but not really. Sort of. She has a far too complicated history to get into here. Well, this is part of her history. And Oak fights her. Amanda the Enchanter is in it. And she is brilliant. That's all I really have to say. Nothing else. This sort of should be in the Defenders omnibus. And it's not. Looks like he's fighting Mr. Doom now. Another bad guy, not his own. Plenty of writers have tried to contribute and build up new enemies for Hulk. But the problem is that the next writer tends to just ignore these new characters in favour of Ganon back to Reader and Abomination Man again. If you did, like, a tier ranking of Hulk bad guys, you'd have tier 1 
It would be Reader and Abomination Man. Tier 2 would be the UFO 4s. Then there would be no Tier 3 or Tier 4. And Tier 5 would be Zax and RP and Tyrannomon. All comics are a sad state. And no, I'm not reading the current Hulk book because I didn't like anything else the writer has done. And I didn't like the sound of it. And he blocked me on Twitter for pointing out continuity mistakes in a crap Galactical Guardians book he did. At least I'm not complaining about the paper quality non-stop again. I should be because it's terrible. Again, it feels like just turning the page is a risk of tearing it or creasing it like look at how easy it is to do that there is falcon man's cousin i think he might make his first appearance in these issues later on he gets aids i think i've read this one this was in that oak art of the atom trade this issue has miss magnets in it and I love Miss Magnets. I think she is great. But what always drags her down is this prick. So we get to see Ulk fight Pillock. And inexplicably, Pillock is written up. And he manages to defeat Ulk. Let's skip to the end and see the extras. I might have read this one as well. It looks like he's gone back to the Michael verse again. Oh, actually, this is the first appearance of this cosmic character. I can't remember what I called him in the review of What If 32. He is in that. He's like a big cosmic character. Uh, the shape of... Uh, I think I think I named him after what I often confuse his name with. He's called Shaper of Summit. And I think my incorrect memory of his name is something like... Shaper of things. Look at that. If you type in what if 32 in the YouTube, I am the second result. Uh, this comic, it's it's a proper recommend. No matter what, Gan Gan and read this. It's it's fantastic. He doesn't ever get any credit for it. Stop waffling on and just get to the names. Looks like I cheated when I was reviewing this and I just didn't name him. So the incorrect name would be Shaper of Things. Extras, we have got the cover to Annual 3, which was reprinting stories. And the cover to Annual 4, which again was reprints. Not a great cover, to be honest. Pencils, more pencils, more pencils. I'm sick of seeing pencils. How about some pens? There was a cover switch out. Originally, it was meant to have Richard Nixon on it, but he was replaced. You just get a very small picture showing the original, and he was replaced with Hulk supporting characters. And there's the original cover art for 156. And from about 10 minutes of reading this, the back end has already warped outwards. Uh, again, I can't recommend this. The paper quality is shit. Just because I haven't been bringing that up every single page, it doesn't mean that it's excusable or you can ignore it. This is going to fall apart if you read it. I judge it seven thumbs up.